this React Native, so I could not open the old one. But yes, that is good. You have to change three times or from each screen to um, any color you want. Yeah, but um, to change that to be the same, you have to do like this. And you can hide that as well. As you can see the um, shadow under the navigation. If you want to hide this, this um, color and this color will be the same. Will uh, it has no that so uh, uh, shadow, and then it will be like um, the same view. And I will show you right now. To do that, you have just to go to the stake of um, the home. Yeah, the stake of the home because we want to hide the shadow. Then the shadow of the navigation of um, the stake home, right? So we go to the home stake and change that inside a header color right here. In Android, we have to say elevator, elevate, elevation, sorry, to put to zero. And then the shadow will be hidden. If you want to hide the shadow in um, in um, iOS, you have to say shadow opacity, but in Android is um, different. Yes, like this, and put it to zero. Yeah, it is like this shadow. Yeah, you can see it has a little bit um shadow right here, but uh, now it has no shadow anymore yeah because we hide this and let us see on an android boom as you can see it is um it looks the same view but it, it uh, there are two the top is a navigation and this one is tab bar and we can hide by um, this as you can see okay guys and to uh, to add the icon on the tab bar we have to go to uh, we have to go to um, the home the uh, screen one right because we want to add um, we have uh, we want to add the icon on the navigation of the screen one as you can see right here so we have to go to screen one and we have to add a static uh, navigation options right here is equal to uh, navigation you can um, add um, anything right here and like this and you have you can return uh, like this I will show you at the left because we want to add the icon to the header left or navigate uh, left of the navigation right and I should import the um, component from native base because I want to use um, the icon of native base right here this is why we installed this at the beginning of um, the video yes right I would have a button and icon icon yes right here just two of this and now I would return um, the, the, the component but not um, this this I have to return buttons and inside the button we have to have the icon because we want to set the icon on the navigation right it has its name and menu yeah and we can style this to be um, like the official um, um, font size is is the size of the icon remember that and from 30 is the standard of um, the size of the icon on navigation 
and I will change its color to be white. Yeah, and we can test it now. Mm -hmm. Take some time. Mm -hmm. Yes, that is great. This is the result of our code, but it looks so weird and so ugly right here because of um, it is a button, right? And inside this is an icon. So we have to hide the, the background of the button to to just uh, leave only the icon, right? It looks so weird. It looks so ugly. Yep. To hide that, you have just to say transparent. Transparent on this. You can also pass it through, but if you say that, the default must be true. And refresh this. Boom. It's really, really nice. Damn. Uh -huh. and to set them um, even to this um, button I would say um, there is something um, different from our thought we could not um, you can add uh, the even on press right here but remember it is um, the static the static uh, variable so it cannot access to to non-static function if you want to when you click on this press you want to um, call the function to do something you want but you can't you can't do that directly you have to do something a little bit um, tricky because it is a um, static fun uh, uh, variable it could not access to non-static functions and I suggest you to um, read through the, the, official, the, the official document right and you can watch this video I will go through this and we will be able to click on this to show the to show um, the drawer but I suggest you to um, find out more about this because it is really um, useful okay now to do that we have to code something it's on I will um, follow the official um, document of the app navigation you have to have some param params for to an array of um, function it will contain many function now option I would have to create them now option um, globally right I have to um, pass this under um, top of um, the static yep right dot state and and param this param dot um, open now yes open navigate a uh, travel navigator yeah we just say like this and in um, component will mount we have uh, this dot props dot navi navigation dot set param this and as you can see you have to pass something right here is um on header even control is equal to this dot uh, on header even control yes good and now we have to open them um, now yeah it's for a function that will reference to open drawer this is the block 
or from non-static that we will access to and we have to create the block right here and I will show you that when we click it did work or it it, it does work or it doesn't work right here and right here we have to say um, something is a now option now op now option now option yes right here is the variable is a now option you can stand it's the same as before params right here is equal to an array of block navigations dot state equal to yep. and on a press right here it would be a reference to the to the block okay, we call the param dot um, on yes this one uh -huh. and I think it would be okay because when the on header control when you click this and then it will call to uh, this and then it will call forward to uh, this to uh, this block and then you will see um, the lab right here but I think we will have a problem when we click uh, that is right that is right I have to say something about this I could not explain you anything because I am not sure either because it is the of um, the official document that we have to follow if we want to set the, the button on the navigation because it is a static button so it could not access to non-static block right here but if you want you have to do and follow like this so I cannot explain you anything else but I, I suggest you read the official document to find out more about this yes and okay we continue yes and now we can get the alert but we don't want it to alert when we click we want it to open the drawer when we click on this so we say this dot prop dot navigation dot navigate not navigation navigate and we pass the URL string and you have to say drawer open you have to say drawer open and then this drawer will um, open but I think you will have uh, some uh, problem right here ah new version of um, this they fix that that is really nice as you can see when you click you get um, uh, the drawer will um, open right you can see nice that is really nice but as you can see in iOS icon is uh, really really awful <laughs> yes as you can see and I would like to change um, something yes in um, our tab bar because it looks so ugly I want to change it in our Mage Navigator and find a tab bar right here and in tab bar we have some um, tab bar options and we have star and one more thing that we have is inactive background color when 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 I click on um, the the third one which means the third one is um, inactive um, which means the third one is active and two of them are inactive because um, we don't click on it which means 
it is inactive and we have to pass some color when it is inactive to be vive and when it is um, active we say um, uh, we pass a color is um, e o a b a t and one more thing I confuse not background color but um, inactive tint color inactive tint color yeah boom as you can see it is golden but um, two of them are inactive are uh, white when I click on the third one it become active and it become um, the golden color yes and one more thing I would um, change the 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 uh, uh, right here the tab bar color and the navigation color to be like my old application that I saw you yeah is uh, right here mm -hmm. wait where I have to, oh right here is the background color I have to change to this um, color right here to make it um, the same my demo application right boom is um navigation is a uh, it's um, to be a brown color and now we have to change the tab the tab color right here to be the same as uh, the navigation boom that look really amazing as you can see yes this is uh, really really nice as you can see we have uh, the same as my application and we can click on this to show the drawer and we can custom this as well right it is all what I want to show you okay and it is all what I want to show you right and I will post um, the source code in my description and you have you can click on the link to download the source code to see it is okay and I want to say something at the end of the video I have to apologize for um, something wrong because I at first I am not um, a teacher or lecturer I am just a programmer that I found um, when I implement this I got many problems and I just want to share to make you easy to implement without them um, any problems like me yeah and one more thing is um, my English I am not native to English so uh, my speak should be um, not um, fluent yeah yeah I know but I will try to improve this letter and hope you like this video and hope it can help you to fix your problems that you are facing right now okay finally thank you for watching and see you guys next video and goodbye for now